Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today is going to be a little different. I'm in the shop today and I am going to show step by step how I make wooden drape flags out of a 2x12. This is not my design. I got the inspiration to make these off of Spare Time Woodworkers channel. Um, they are a lot of fun and you can do a lot of different things. Sports teams, American flags, Christian flags. Whatever spin you want to put on them, these are great flags to play around with. Uh, so let's get hey guys, busy. On hopefully I got this whole board in the camera. Um, first thing I do, once I get my four foot piece of 2x12, I look at both sides. And down at this edge down here, we got, got some damage there. Edges are bad. That not there. I think would end up being in the way and it'd be right on the edge and I don't want to take a chance of having it not on the edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this the back side of the flag and I'm going to make this the front side. This is going to be the face of the flag. So normally, normally I would come across and make a mark at four, five, and six and a quarter. But... For me, on this board, that knot is right on the edge of four. And I don't want, I want to try to get as much of that knot out as I can. So I'm actually going to come over a quarter inch more on all these. Um, just so I miss that. Just so I miss that knot. And then on this side, you come down from the from the four inch mark make a mark at 39 come straight in make a mark two and a half and then run your your four inch line down to the 39 which is right on the edge of the board and then the five inch run that down to the Mark where you came in two and a half. Now I also come down right from the center, down 25, and just kind of make a mark across where 25 inches is. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So then I come across to where the six and a quarter would be at 16 you can go all the way over to the edge of the board if you want um you're you're going to round majority of that off anyway and it just saves you one step one more step from cutting but um i come in just a little bit just makes it a little easier for me to find the find my marks so then you come down two and three quarter and i put those marks on Like so, and then from 16 to two and a quarter, or two and three quarter. All right, now back where we drew the line down to 25 inches, I come from there over to eight and a quarter, and then I just put my eight and a quarter, I line that up with wherever my 25 inch mark is. And that's kind of how I get my, my angle for this this part right here. like so and then I'll connect that that line right up to the the center line as well so then you can come in from this mark at two and a quarter And then six and a half down from that line. Once again, I just try to keep mine in a little bit. So then you go from this line. And I believe that is five inches. Let me double check that. Five inches. Wherever my five inch line falls, so it's going to be right on the edge right there. Real close to it.
Now I'll come in two inches. And then from that two inch mark, come down 13 and a half, which will be right on the edge of the board. The 13 and a half will be right there on the edge of the board. And then this, I usually go four inches right here from there to there. Hey guys, just remember, none of these measurements, you don't have to worry about being precise on these because you're going to be carving out anyway. And you're, some flags you're going to take off more. And you're going to leave some in different areas on the flag. So don't, don't worry about being precise on these measurements. Now your 13 and a half mark and your 39 mark should be pretty close to, to matching up down here. Then I measure down 10 and a half. And then this side, you know what, let's do, just because that board's chewed up, let's raise that up a quarter inch. Let's go 10 and a quarter. And then... We'll do eight and a half on this side and wherever that would meet, which would be right there. That's where we'll make that line. Okay, so that should give you the basic shape of the flag to cut out. Now, once you cut the shape out, this, this line right here, the second line in, that's going to be one of the rolls or one of the folds in the flag. And so is this one, as well as the one that goes across the bottom. So you can make those as deep as you want them. Uh, just remember, the deeper you go, the, the longer you're going to be grinding and sanding this thing. And also, it, it does affect how you can lay your stars out. The deeper the rolls, the harder it is to lay your, your stars uh, stencil out on this. So usually on this one, let's go three eighths on that and then three eighths on this too. I did, I did a quarter on the last one and I actually liked it better doing it this way. And then I did a quarter on, on this one. I've done it both ways and I just think the depth looks better when the when this roll is deeper than, than this roll would be. So we'll do a quarter here and then we'll do three eighths on there. Um, and then I'll show you that when we start shaping all of it. But I'm gonna get the saw horses set up. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna film cutting it out in shape. That's pretty self-explanatory, just follow the line. Okay guys, I've got, I've got three of the flags um, out there. They're cut to shape. So now I'm going to get ready to start grinding and shaping them. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I use. Um, I've tried some different things, but this is what I found that works best for me. Uh, just a four and a half inch grinder. And to be honest, I have found that these Warrior Flap Disc 36 Grit from Harbor Freight, they work... To me, they were just as good as the ones you buy at Lowe's, and they're half the cost. Um, I have tried using one of the cuts all, and at least the one that I ordered did not work good for, for these flags. Um, so this these are my go-to, and they're pretty cheap. I want to say they're four bucks or less, I think, for that Harbor Freight. If I remember right and you can get depending on how how your wood is um, if you pick the best 2x12s that you can pick um, without a bunch of knots you can probably get three flags maybe out of a disc
after I get this to this point, I come in, make sure I like I like the flow of all the of all the waves that I put in it. And then well, sometimes when you once you grind and sand it down, you'll run into some cracks that you didn't see. So you gotta make sure you're looking good for them. But then you see the voids in those knots. And then there's one right there. So I come back in right now and then I, I use CA glue to fill those in. So I always go a little darker around the seam, uh, the folds. And then where I have, where I have uh, put some waves in it, kind of darken those up first. The places that the big torch won't reach, then I get a smaller torch out, and then I go in and I try to hit hit so the tight creases a little bit better. And I just made a little cardboard template, same size, so that way I make sure all my spaces um, are the same distance apart. I got the flag elevated so that way that way I can get my hand around and make sure I get far enough on the back side that it covers everything. Now depending on how you're going to put your stars on if you're going to paint them it doesn't matter but if you're going to carve them just remember the the darker you make this and the more stain you put on, it's just that much deeper you're going to have to carve to get all the color out of your out of your stars. If you're staining if you're staining these things, unless you know a trick that I don't know about, you're gonna get some some bleed through. I don't care how much surface prep you have. I think it's just about impossible to to get it all out. See, there's just a little bit of bleed through on some of this. Like I say, it's, it's just about impossible to stop. Um, for the most part, the lines are pretty crisp. So most of these lines, I could actually get away with just using them. Um, but like right there, I don't like the way that looks. And where the, where the, where the blue and the red come together, there's a couple voids there. And then down in there, this is where your little small torch will come in super handy. Let's see if I can do this with. So I come in here when the when the uh, stain is still a little bit wet, and right there where I don't like that. Just brown that area up just a little bit.
Now that real dark spot right there that I just, I went a little bit too hot on that. I will sand that down a little bit to, to bring out the, the light color of the wood right there. So that's as far as I can go with this one today. I'm going to set this over on the rack, let it dry, and then tomorrow I will uh, start getting the stars stenciled out and get them get them carved, and then I'll get at least one coat of clear on this tomorrow. Okay, guys, it is the next morning. I've got the flag laying, and I got my stencil out. Um, when you're doing this, the biggest thing is just make sure that your stars are pointing in the right direction. Um, real quick so you see that so when you're working this side of it you try to line your stencil up on the edge of the union right there with your points going up and then up here you just do the same thing you line your stencil up with the angle of the union you know I see people that will just put all their stars the same direction but that's not really how it would look on a draped flag. The stars would, they wouldn't all just be the exact same way, you know, because the flag's hanging at different angles. So just line your stars up, your stencil up with the edge of the union, and as long as they're pointing in the right direction, you'll be good. Well guys, this is what the flag looks like after it's finished. Uh, this has had a few coats of the spar urethane and you can see it puts a nice, nice finish on these flags. I just really like the, the shine to it. Uh, this flag is actually going to be donated to an organization to help raise some money. Um, so I just actually just hung this up so I could um, finish this video off. But that's it, guys. I, I hope you guys um, go get yourself a 2x12 and try this. And if you guys found this video useful, please like and subscribe for any uh, future videos I have coming out on homesteading and woodworking. Have a good day and God bless.